Hello heroes, and welcome back to a new video tutorial. Today we're going to show how to use the CSS Hero JavaScript editor and how to create a catchy annotation animation. Since version number five, CSS Hero includes a very powerful JavaScript editor, which I will show you in this video. But now let's look at this JavaScript animation in detail. The name of the JavaScript library that I will use for this tutorial is called Rough Notation. Rough Notation is small JavaScript library to create and animate annotations on a web page. These animations are useful for creating eye-catching elements. Okay, let's edit the page. We need to apply an ID to the word reliable. Click the edit as HTML link in the block menu and add a span tag with the ID hero highlight. This will allow us to edit only this word with CSS hero. Now let's save the page and launch CSS hero plugin. As you can see in the bottom left corner, we have the button to launch the JavaScript editor. First of all, we need to load the library from the CDN. To do this, we will just start typing inside the field the name. As you can see, CSS Hero can implement all the most popular JavaScript libraries. The search field, once you start typing, will autocomplete making it easy to search. Now let's click and add the file we need. We will obviously load the latest version of the library 0.5.1. Now we add the following code to initialize the annotate function. Now let's create an annotation object by passing the CSS element and configure the annotation style. We've declared a one as constant for this annotation. Of course, you can rename it, but respecting the JavaScript rules. As you can see, we are activating this effect on the ID that we have created before, so we are applying it only for this element. Obviously, if you want to apply the same effect to more elements, you can create a class and change the get elements by ID with get elements by class name. This value is the type of notation and sets the annotation style. When you create an annotation object, you pass in a config. This is a mandatory field since it sets the annotation style. A list of supported annotation types can be found in the documentation. This value defines the color of the annotation sketch. The default value is current color. Let's change it from yellow to blue. This last line of codes will call our annotation. Just click the update button to run our JavaScript. Please remember that saving our work requires clicking the save button as well. We will now edit the style using CSS Hero. Let's play with font size and color. As you can see, we have the option of inserting any color we like. Now let's set the text with the background blue and let's change the background of our animation to white for good contrast. For the animation, we need to change the blue and insert the color in the code. Hit the update button to redraw the JavaScript animation. Let's save our job and browse the page to check the effect. Well done, heroes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, leave me a comment, or just like this video. Goodbye.